So you're going to start with one package of spiralized veggie zucchini noodles. This is 12 ounces, so if you want to make your own zucchini noodles, it's 12 ounces. And what I'm going to do is place this in a pan. I'm going to turn it on low so it starts cooking. And to help it cook better, I'm going to cover it with a lid so it steams a little. And now we're going to make the sauce while this cooks. Yes, it's dirt. No. Go. All right, so now you're going to need a blender to make the sauce. And the sauce is really, really simple. It's a dairy-free basil sauce. So you're going to need some basil. I have a basil plant here. All I'm going to do is take about half a cup. So I'm probably going to use this entire plant. This makes four servings. So I'm just going to pick up all the leaves and wash them. So one handful of basil. The next thing you're going to need is some nutritional yeast. I use a fourth of a cup of this. And then I use half a cup of olive oil. Half a cup of olive oil. And then one whole avocado. And now we're going to blend this up. You may have to stop and stir, stop and stir. You can add more olive oil if you want it more liquidy. It depends on how big or small your avocado is, but you may need to add more olive oil to get it nice and smooth. Here is what it looks like when it's done. Nice and creamy. So I'm gonna let this sit while I chop up the olives and the grape tomatoes, which is what I'm gonna put on my basil pesto salad. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any Kamala olives. Those are my favorite. And I have these green olives, which I was going to use, but I can't get the lid off. So I'm not gonna put olives on mine, but you should, because it tastes a lot. It tastes really good. So I'm going to use some grape tomatoes, just a handful. I'm gonna chop them in half. And I'm going to add them to this, to the noodles, just at the very end to just get a little bit warmed up. So now I have chopped up my great tomatoes and I'm just going to wait until my noodles are done and cook through and then I'll just add these in there. So my noodles are almost done as you see here. And I'm going to crisp them up a little bit because I don't like them soggy so I'm taking the lid off. And when they're crispy, I'm going to just give it a toss with these tomatoes for about two to three minutes. Now that the noodles are crisping up and the water is getting out, I'm going to add my tomatoes and just toss this until I think everything's done. I would also probably put in my olives right now if I had any. So I would do, you know, just a handful of Kamala purple olives in this. Um, also, I think red onion would taste really well in this too. So my noodles and zucchini are done, and my sauce is done, and my Rebecca woke up. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of onions on it. So you need to wait until this cools a little bit before you put sauce on it, or the olive oil is going to separate out. So I would say let it sit for about five to 10 minutes until it's just a little bit warm. Put your sauce on it and refrigerate it. I like it best cold, but you can eat it right away. I refrigerate it for at least an hour or two before eating it, and it lasts about three days in the fridge. And this makes four servings. So I think mine has cooled down enough that I'm going to go ahead and add my pesto. Um, there's the leftovers. So I think this made about three servings actually and not four, but you could portion it out smaller. So one serving and then two in there for leftovers. Yeah. 